Hallo und jetzt willkommen zu einer weiteren Folge The Walking Dead. Ja, und dann machen wir mal weiter. All this way. This is, this is the welcome I get. I was worried. We all were. Yeah, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. Mm. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. Mm. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. It's what we got. Mm. We just, we just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. Chesson. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We gotta plan. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, mm -hmm. you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. Ja, oh, oh, jetzt krieg ich bestimmt Ärger, ey. Scheiße. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is all fucking limits to you. Yeah, it's okay. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Yeah, Alter. Oh, yeah, for me so. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Ne. Was ein Penner, Alter. Alvin. Alvin. He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. Me. Nee. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. Mm. Das war so klar. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. Mm. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. Oh, you see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. 
He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Do you understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're going to get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Oh, so. All right, now. Well, you there? Super. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. Mm. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. That's an arch, eh? I hate him. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. Mm. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are fuel on the roof. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's going to get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff... <gasps> is. 
If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where yeah, did not she come from? An, uh, an, uh... We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. <laughs> yes. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on. So and the quartz I got zero. And Great. Things. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Mm. That's my girl. <laughs> we gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Ja, Gott sei Dank. Und jetzt... Ach, scheiße. Oh Gott. Oh Gott, oh Gott. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Scheiße. What? We're in trouble. Haben wir wirklich, ja. Hm. Na super. Ich muss schnell weg. Ja, ich glaube, wir sind doch an dieses Scheißding. Wir haben uns doch an dieses Scheißding. Ja. Ja. Alter. Und jetzt? Ey. Jetzt mal gucken. Okay. Das ist echt lebensmüde, ey.
Die alte. Weil das sind wenigstens so Walkie Talkies. Scheiße. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? Psh, I think so. The homestead at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. Oh middle, du musst leise sein. Moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really oh, oh. unnerving. I know what you mean. Figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. Nein, stop. Never got used to a light buzzing or anything. A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, Nimm I'm looking right now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. All right, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. Scheiße. Ja, warum geht das nicht? Oh mein Gott. Scheiße. Scheiße, die erwischen uns bestimmt. Oh, oh mein Gott. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Okay. Well, from? Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. <laughs> Yay. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the mm. dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Mm. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Hmm. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we. Have you just shot him? Shots and need a second. Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Sarah, Jane, if you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. <gasps> Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Oh, Alright, 
Alright, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would... There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. <laughs> Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Yeah, but... Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. I don't think today's going to be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Let's go. Oh, ich hasse den, ey. Stimmt ja nicht mit dem. Hey, da fällt mir gerade ein. Die Folge ist eigentlich schon vorbei. <lacht> okay. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. Yeah.